welcome once again my friends to our series on friendship this week and these are excerpts from my book who is your friend in our episode this week we are looking at something different on the ministry of friendship in our episode today we are looking at this my good friend Felix Dari said friendship is a ministry that calls to love trust share and care Friendship is indeed a ministry. Without it, we cannot make it in any relationship. When you become a friend, you succeed without limit. When you become a friend, you succeed without limit. Who is your friend? Who is your friend? Friendship is a ministry. It is a ministry that God calls each of us to uphold and administer. One of the things we have to understand about friendship is that without friendship, life becomes burdensome, harsh, and cold. Friendship keeps us warm in the heat of life. Friendship empowers us on the journey of life. Those who withhold true friendship from others create painful memories for them. When you deprive others of the true value of friendship, you create an irrelevant relationships with them. For us to therefore enjoy the true value of friendship in all relationships, we need to understand the significance of the ministry of friendship. So join me in this episode as we take a journey and, and explore the powers and the content of the ministry of friendship. The ministry of friendship. First of all, friendship is a ministry of love. Love is an enterprise of friendship. Any love without friendship is fake. You can love without being a friend. But you cannot be a true lover without being a true friend. As a matter of fact, True love is the house of true friendship. When you love or when your love is really true, you will never stop building friendships. True friends are products of true love. And true friends are great lovers. But not all lovers are true friends. Wherever there is friendship, there must of necessity be love. If you cannot truly love people, then you cannot be a true friend. It's important for us to understand this concept of love in the ministry of friendship. Take a minute and meditate on them. As we move on in the ministry of friendship, we are emphasizing that friendship is a ministry of caring. When you meet a true friend, you have already accessed a caring heart. As a matter of fact, anyone who does not really care is not and cannot be a friend. (laughs) Anyone who does not really care is not and cannot be a friend. This is one of the things we have to understand about friendship. If you are a friend, then you have to care. The proof that you are really a caring friend or the proof that you really care about your friends is your ability to think about them and meet their needs even before they need them. One caring friend is 10 times better than a thousand careless lovers. It's important for us to understand the ministry of friendship when it comes to the aspect of caring in friendship. Also, in the ministry of friendship, we know that friendship is a ministry of sharing. Friends share. Stingy people cannot be in friendship. 
ever demanding and never giving people cannot have successful friendships. Because friendship is about sharing. Someone who could come into your life and give you a part of what they have, no matter how little it is. If you want to have a prosperous and fruitful friendship, then share with your friends. Sometimes, you don't even have to let them ask first. You just design their needs and provide for them without any expectation. As a matter of fact, the more you share with your, your, your time, your insight, your knowledge, your strength, and money with your friends, the more you become a great friend. So the ministry of friendship is a ministry of sharing. And it's important for us to understand this when it comes to the ministry of friendship. The last part I want to share with you is that the ministry of friendship, the ministry of friendship, friendship is a ministry of trust. In the ministry of friendship, friendship is a ministry of trust. True friends trust each other. Suspicious people never see the goodness of friendship. Critical and fault-finding people cannot improve their friends. For us to really access the power of friendship, we need to both be trustworthy and trusting friends. In friendship, as a matter of fact, you have to take a leap of faith to believe the genuineness and goodness of your friends, even when their actions appear unwise. If you cannot minister trust to your friends and be a person others could count on, your friendships will be very difficult to survive. True friendship is established on trustworthiness. And it's important for us to understand this when it comes to the ministry of friendship because the ministry of friendship hangs on the power of trust. My brothers, understanding the ministry of friendship reduces stress, worry, and painful moments. It increases our joy, greatness, and success in life without any struggling. Those who minister friendship enjoy the ministry of friendship. Today and this week, accept the ministry of friendship and be a true friend to others, no matter who they may be. My brothers, once again, I'm John Atta, the author of Who is Your Friend? And I recommend you to get my book, a copy of my book on Amazon, and if God will really use it to enrich and empower your life. Till we meet again next week, stay blessed and have a blessed week. In Jesus' name, Amen.